why wouldn't you want to come to the Hunter? And just quietly speak, I heard there is a new, one of the newest tourist markets in the Hunter. It is called Burgers for the Hunter, which shot the fame after a uh, 2023 burger calendar. Call the member for Hunter. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Tourism is a massive part of our economy in Australia. Um, the member will be heard in silence. I'm proud to be member of. A, I'm proud to be a member of a party not only understands this, but a government that backs our tourism sector fully. Those opposite cry about our handling of the tourism industry, but they ignore the cold hard facts. They rip support away from hundreds of thousands of mostly small businesses that make up Australia's visitor economy nearly a year before Australia's borders reopened. All those businesses that relied on international visitors had to cling on from 28th of March 2021, when the previous government stopped JobKeeper, until the 21st of February 2022, when Australia's international borders reopened. And international travel from China, which before the pandemic was our largest sector source of largest source market of international visitors only resumed a few months ago. And Deputy Speaker, let's not forget regional communities like mine had already suffered severe slowdown in visitor numbers before the pandemic hit because of the impact of the Black Summer bushfires. And what was the former Prime Minister, the member for Cook, doing as these devastating fires raged? Was he overseeing a national disaster response or holding a hose? No. Was he letting our key tourism, our tourist markets know that much of Australia was unaffected and open for business and ready to welcome visitors? No. Was he on the beach in Hawaii? Oh, sorry, he was on the beach in Hawaii, perhaps learning how to play April Sun in Cuba for his pre-election interview. Deputy Speaker, a lot of Australians are doing it tough, but these issues we face here are also being faced by people in other countries all around the world. International travel is a luxury, and when times are tough, it makes sense that, these, that less people are able to make the trip to Australia, regardless of how much they want to. When it comes to Australia, there is no shortage. There is no shortage when it comes to a great places for international tourists to visit. Sure, there are capital cities and sites like the Opera House and Sydney Harbour Bridge, but in my humble opinion, nothing quite beats the beautiful Hunter. Whether you want a coastal holiday or regional escape, whether you like wine and good food or fishing and swimming, the Hunter Electorate has it all. In the Hunter Valley, we have vineyards which stretch as far as the eye can see. People from all over the world come to see our wine region and to experience the amazing wine tasting and cellar door tours that come part of the package when visiting the Hunter Valley. Not to mention the fact that the Hunter is filled with amazing food. All over my electorate you will find world-class award-winning restaurants, award-winning food, washed down with award-winning wine. Sounds like a perfect combination to me. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to come to the Hunter? And just quietly speak, I heard there is a new one of the newest tourist markets in the Hunter. It is called Burgers for the Hunter, which shot the fame after a uh, 2023 burger calendar. People from everywhere are rushing to the burger capital of Australia and the world. But if wine, food and scenic country views aren't your thing, we also have the largest saltwater lake in the Southern Hemisphere in the Hunter electorate, Lake Macquarie. There is nowhere better to be in touch with the best that nature has to offer. Or if you prefer to experience Lake Macquarie from land, there are amazing walking and cycling tracks offering some of the best views you will find. But it's not only, a, it's not only people from other countries who want to see our vineyards and our amazing lake. The Hunter is a hot spot for domestic tourism. This played a massive role in keeping our region going and our state afloat after the tough times of border restrictions during COVID. Deputy Speaker, People from Sydney frequently visit the Hunter, and it's easy to see why. When you're stuck in a fast-paced concrete jungle filled with road rage like Sydney, who can blame someone for wanting to visit heaven, which they could find just a couple of hours up the road in the Hunter? Speaker, no matter what your taste is, regardless of what you're looking for on a holiday, whether you're a domestic tourist or an international tourist, the Hunter electorate is what you're looking for. We rely on tourists here in the Hunter, and I'm a part of a government who strongly supports the tourism industry and gives strong support to regions like the one that I represent. Anyone that suggests otherwise is absolutely dreaming. Thank, Thank you. you, Deputy Speaker. The question